Hi everyone, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace this hose nozzle. This is for a um, swimming pool hose. It is a one inch and a half. <clears throat> I think the one inch, and, one inch and a half is the measurement of this size, I think. This one right here looks like about an inch and a quarter. But uh, anyway, bought this from Amazon. Uh, this is the uh, the new nozzle right here and uh, it's for one and a half and it matches perfectly with my uh, pull hose <clears throat> so I think it is the standard is one and a half all right so the problem with this one the old one is that it has crack right here as you can see and uh, and it's not holding on to the equipment anymore uh, whatever attachment that I'm using and so I tried to open this uh, this is a factory made hose and I can't seem to um, untwist it or anything so what I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna cut it uh, straight through I'm gonna pick this second ring right here instead of cutting through the first one I'm cutting through the second one because it does spiral in and if I cut through the first one, I will not be able to eventually uh, cut all the way through because I'm going to hit that white part right here. So I'm just cutting through this black softer part and the black softer part does spiral all the way through. So I have to eventually cut through this blue part right here. Otherwise, this is just going to continue spiraling, as you can tell right here. So you're going to have eventually have to cut it off, like so. Alright, so once you cut it off, uh, the next thing to do is just to screw it in. And um, to screw it in is basically, I think you screw it in. I'm, I'm screwing this in this way which is counterclockwise and it's just coming in like that okay so I'm just test fitting it right now it's going all the way in it's still turning and eventually I'm pretty sure it's gonna stop yep it's going all the way in okay so this is actually probably good enough but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put PVC glue. I'm not going to put too much. I'm going to put a little bit to make sure that uh, it stays. And the PVC glue I'm going to use is the same as a typical PVC glue that is used for regular PVC pipe. Okay, I don't have um, <clears throat> a PVC glue right now. So I'm just going to use this. Um, regular fix all glue whatever that means uh, but typically I would recommend for you to use PVC glue for this and uh, so this is just a regular glue and I'm going to put it in the inside just a little bit here um, just a drop here and then the, a drop here and another drop here and that's just going to make sure it holds okay so now that we have that <clears throat> in there we can finally screw this in So we're just screwing That's it 
okay my glue is kind of squeezing out there so I'm just going to use this a little bit to strain it out all right that's it all right so that's it that's the uh, end of the video I just want to show you how easy it is for you to um, replace a broken head um, to a new one like this thank you thank you for watching bye thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you